Foxworthy, and we just found out in the break he really does have an Aunt Rose. And did she really <laughs> win the peeing contest or not? No, she's a doctor, and that's going to embarrass her to death. So oh. that's why I had to do it. Yeah. So. so in other words, you actually use family Every, members. Everybody, names. yeah, I, I always use their names just because it, it gets them all upset. They have to go to work the next day. I don't, <laughs> you know. So. Well, you know that's something. You you were a computer whiz. You were like an engineer or something. I was an you? engineer with IBM for six years, and a uh, bunch of people dared me to do this, and I end up. Quitting the job, and uh, my family thought I had lost my mind until the first time I was on the Tonight Show. You know, and then my mom was like, "Well, you wasted all those years at IBM." <laughs> I thought you were flopping like a bass in the kitchen floor. Be quiet, you know. Uh, but my, you know, <laughs> moms like are it. like that. But you, you really are doing so well, winning all the awards and so forth. Does that make you feel like a big star? No, you no. know what? I'm not. I'm, I'm not in there that much. I, I'm doing the Fox Theater in Atlanta. Uh, Friday night, mm -hmm. we yeah. sold out a couple of shows, and they put us up at the Ritz-Carlton, and, and I told my wife, I said, this, they put us in the suite, and I said, this is just it in my style. I said, we need to get some Kentucky Fried Chicken buckets <laughs> and just leave the greasy buckets outside the door out here just to let them know we've been here, you know? <laughs> And you'll do it. You can, I will do it. I you can't take a redneck somewhere nice. Well, know? hey, I got, I got to point out, uh, it used to be that um, Elvis Presley had this... Uh, Thing about giving away cars. I understand you've started a little bit of that uh -huh. habit, especially with your manager, JP. Well, we talked to him. What now? What did he tell you that I gave him? Though? That he gave you gave him a very nice Lincoln. He yeah, said I Lincoln. gave him a Lincoln. Yeah, but see, JP's from West Virginia. It's just a Hyundai. I told him it was a Lincoln, <laughs> and he fell for it. <laughs> He thinks it's difference. leaking. Y'all don't tell him the truth. <laughs> oh, he must be a real good manager, you know. No, it's, things have been growing great. We, you know, we've got the album. And the album books. is out. You might be a redneck if. And I, I imagine this is from a live concert, right? Yes, that's from a live thing. Uh, from, actually, from one of the Showtime things. And oh, and th this is so funny. In really fact, the funny special thing. that this is from, I just found out two days ago, is uh, it, we're nominated for an Ace Award for Special of the Year. Cable so. Ace Award. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the uh, and of course, uh, <laughs> this is I, the calendars. I guess are about as popular as the books. Oh, the calendars have gone crazy. This is the new. Uh, you might be a redneck if it's got every every event for the year. Rednecks would like chili cookoffs, rattlesnake roundups. <laughs> okay. You know, you name it, we got it in there. I say right. you have really hit on something because you might be a redneck if it's something that can go on and on. Ad infinitum. I keep thinking that we've run out of them, and, no. and people will stop me in airports and, and give me one, and, and I just, you know, th th there's no end to it. In fact, I was at the National Booksellers Convention, and when we did the first book, the, the publisher said to me, I said, how many do you think we'll sell? And he said, oh, I bet you we sell 10,000, and the first book is going on a million copies oh. now. Is that right? Oh. A lot more rednecks than they thought. Yeah, so, I know. Can, uh, can I give a quick example yeah. here? I have not seen this one. This is uh, December 94. This is from the calendar. You might check this. You might be redneck if your outside Christmas decoration has a misspelled word. So <laughs> <laughs> it gives you an idea what this is all about. It's, well, it's really Jeff funny. Foxworthy is into more fun stuff. A new book, You're Not a Kid Anymore, if... Same type of, type of format as the, but it's dawned on me that, you know, I used to could turn on MTV and I knew all the songs and, and now I kind of walk by it and go, is that a man or a woman? You know, so... <laughs> I'm kind of getting mm -hmm. on that age, and so this is just ways to, to help people find out that, that, you know, maybe they're not as young as they used to be. Well, you know what's sad? A lot of these really do relate to me. <laughs> oh, have you actually called about that adjustable bed they sell on TV? I've come close. Yeah, <laughs> I there's really There's a lot have. of stuff in there. You're not a kid anymore if, uh, if you can live without sex, but not without your glasses. <laughs> <laughs> suffering from a little flu the past couple of days. He uh -huh. has one. You're not in a kid anymore when you're alarmed by how young your doctor is. Oh, yeah. You walk in, and this little guy with just peach fuzz on his face, and he wants to start sticking things in your arm. And... One of them in there, you're not a kid anymore if you have a party and the neighbors don't even know it. <laughs> <you know? laughs> That's a good point. Uh well, this, this is a whole new uh, thing for Mr. Foxworthy. Uh, this is a good book. That's, that's his new book. And, of course, you have a series of four books. You might be redneck. Yeah. This is the fifth book we've done. Plus the album. 
plus the calendar. And if that's not enough, call him. He may come by your house and tell a few jokes. Let will. me tell you, I will. he's a busy man. He has to get up and leave. He's going to do some concerts. Uh, November 12th, Atlanta, Georgia, Fox Theater. Then November 20th in Houston. Uh, some big sold out dates there. So mm -hmm. please go see Jeff Foxworthy if you can. Jeff, it's always great to see you. I know you're on my last Funny Business Special uh, is a hoot, and it's great to see you. Come back and see us next time through Nashville. Anytime. Tell JP, drive his new car. I Jeff. will. <laughs> Jeff Foxworthy, everybody.